Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I have quite a valuable video for you today. Um, if you've tried dropshipping up to this point and you haven't quite seen the desired results, then this is the video for you. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be comparing two different Shopify dropshipping stores that are at completely different ends of the spectrum. So store number one we're going to be taking a look at is Scalp Hero. These guys are a very successful business. So the site age, they're only one years old. They managed to generate over half a million dollars in their very first year and they have an hourly monthly profit of over three and a half thousand dollars and the asking price for this current store is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars however if we actually jump down into their revenue and profit from the past 12 months we can see it's actually on an upward trend it's a growing business and if i just get rid of this tool here and take a look at their profits for the last few months we can see december 12 grand profit january 7 grand profit feb three grand profit March nine grand profit and April seven grand profit. So in its own right, it's a very successful business. It's still active and it's still working really, really well. On the other side, then we have every outdoor. So if we take a look at these guys, these guys have actually been in business for four years. They have a monthly profit of $92 and the asking price for this business is $700. If we actually come down into their revenue and profit from the last 12 months, we can see it's actually on a downward trend and you could probably argue a dying business that isn't really going anywhere. Which begs the question then, what is the difference between these two stores? These two Shopify dropshipping stores, what is the difference between failure and success. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. So I put quite a lot of thought into this and how to summarize it, to put it into simple terms so it's easy to understand. And the question that I came up with, so if you ask yourself this question about your own business, it will tell you how likely you are to succeed at dropshipping. And that question is how easy is your business to replicate? If you have a business which is very easy to replicate, i.e. you don't stand out from the crowd, you're doing the same things as everybody else, and the harsh reality being majority of people fail at this, then you're gonna get the same results. So the easier your business is to replicate, the higher chances of your failure. So for example, if we take a look on this every outdoor store, we can see that the name they've used is just outdoor camping, sleeping pad, inflatable mattress with pillows. They haven't owned the product, they haven't given the product a name, they've just used keywords. These look like stock images. So what we'll do is we'll actually go through these because I'm gonna show you a supplier that's selling this product on AliExpress. So just kind of imprint these images on your mind. We can see easy to inflate and deflate with a red header at the top. We can see with a lady sat on it, ergonomic design, um, diamond lattice design. There's different P6 waterproof icons, somebody with the Nike trainers or Nike trainers, um, scratch resistant, that sort of thing. And if we actually jump onto AliExpress and go through the images from these guys, um, so that's the very same image, the red banner at the top, easy to inflate and deflate. The same lady lying on it, ergonomic design, diamond lattice design, P6 waterproof, the same Nike trainers, scratch resistant, that sort of thing. So all they've simply done is import the images across from a Chinese supplier on AliExpress. Just very quickly before we move on, just 30 seconds of your time. If you're looking for an all-in-one guide that is 100% free, that will show you all of the necessary steps to take you from ground zero to finding your product, finding a supplier, building a website and getting your first customers in 21 days, then you've got to check out my free training. It is 100% free, won't cost you a single penny. All I ask is for your email address and that is so I can send you this. This is my personal handpicked selection of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023. So if you want to grab a copy of that and that training sounds interesting to you, make sure you check it out after this video. It'll be the top link in the description down below. If we move down into the product description, all the way to the bottom of the page, that's it. So the description is simply four different bullet points. Anybody with basic keyboard and mouse skills could replicate this probably in a space of a couple of minutes, especially with free tools now available like ChatGPT. There's nothing on this page which is difficult to replicate, meaning that anybody with basic 
technical skills on a computer could replicate this exact business probably in the space of a couple of hours if not faster. So if it was really that easy to be successful at this then everybody would be very wealthy, everybody would be very successful but the proof is in the pudding. The, the fact that they have a business that is super easy to replicate reflects in the type of results they have, the success they had or I should say the lack of success that they've had. On the other hand then if we jump onto the Scalp Hero website so here we are and what we're going to do now is just take a look at the things that aren't so easy to replicate. So the first thing that obviously pops out is this. It's the custom branded packaging. You're not going to see that same packaging anywhere on AliExpress. If we take a look up here as well, we can see they're given a free gift with every purchase. That's not traditional. That's not textbook. That's not something that you'll see every other Shopify store doing either. So if each of these little things is an extra reason or an extra excuse or another thing that kind of just separates them from anybody else selling that same product, helps them stand out from the crowd and people who stand out from the crowd are much more likely to get attention and the more attention you get, obviously, the more likely you are to find somebody who wants to buy your product. The other thing they have here as well, so is this little section here with a testimonial from Kate. This is not, again, a default template. This is a third party app or a custom code um, added to the website, again, just to kind of separate those guys from any default template or from anything else other people are doing. Same thing for these bullet marks here as well. This, again, is not something you can do by default on Shopify. You need an app to pay for this. Something else they're also doing is the 60 day guarantee. That's not typical. Most people only offer 14 days or 30 days. So when people see the fact they're off in 60 days, immediately they look like a much more professional business. They also have over 100 reviews. I believe if when we go back to every outdoor, there were no reviews. Um, it's something like 65% of consumers will check for reviews on a product before purchasing. So if you don't have them on your product page, you are 100% missing out on potential customers. To have over 100 as well gives off a really good impression of being an established business with a quality product. They also have this too, so free shipping five to eight days. I won't bore you with the background contextual information, but they are paying for a bulk quantity of these products. They're shipping them to a warehouse in China and they're doing China to their consumer in five to eight days time. Again, traditional dropshipping businesses cannot offer delivery that quickly because they haven't gone to that extent of creating an established business. All of these little things that these guys are doing make these guys really difficult to replicate. It also sets them apart and above everybody else, making them the superior business and that is reflected in the success that they've had. As we come down the page, they have these custom icons which they may have had designs. They've got little explanations of all the different features and benefits of the product. Again, to have these boxes with the shadows which are in keeping with the colors and the branding of the store. These are all little finer details that really help set these guys apart from anybody else. They have some more custom branded imaging here. What I'm going to do is show you a supplier in AliExpress in a second. I can guarantee you won't see any of these images on there. We have more original imagery featuring the product. As we come down, they have different statistics with different icons, the use of a blue emoji to keep it in keeping with the brand, more original imagery showing the custom branded packaging. They have a nicely displayed before and after section and if you've noticed with the blue shadows on the background as well which is in keeping with the theme above. And then as we come down in fact the only thing which is easily replicatable in this store is the fact they're using looks reviews but then even then when we come into the reviews of one of the first images we see again is that custom branded packaging so there's so many little bits on this store which make it a very difficult business to replicate and the harder your business is to replicate the higher chances of success you have. Let's jump onto AliExpress then just to take a look at a supplier selling this product. We can see this image is not on their store, 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 this image is definitely not on their store, and neither is this one. If we scroll down to have a look at some more images down here, you get the gist. Everything they've done and put onto their website is custom to give off the impression that they're the original sellers and owners of the product. So to wrap this one up then guys, how easily replicatable 
is your business. If you've got a business that I can compete with in the space of a couple of hours, then how do you expect to be successful at this? There's so many people fighting to be in that top position. If you've got a business that can be out-competed with very little work, then you can't expect to survive for very long in this business. When it comes to being replicatable as well, it doesn't just stop at the Shopify store. It also includes the content on your socials. It also includes the creatives you're using as ads. The more original and unique you can be and the more you can plaster your brand across everything, the less and less people will be able to compete with you and therefore the more success you will have. And then that final note, I'm gonna end the video there. If you're still watching, thank you very much guys. I really do appreciate the support on the channel recently. If there's anything I can help you with, just leave a comment down below. I read every single comment, so I will see it and I will get back to you. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you are enjoying my content so you can keep up to date with my videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.